Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity introduction course. This is the first episode of a video course where we will explore the Unity editor, its tools and components. We will study each tool individually and show you how you can use them to create your own games. So, if you want to learn how to use Unity this is your chance. Grab a sit and let's get started. Lesson 1 The Interface Step 1 Download and Install Unity has two versions, the free version, and the pro version. Both work in similar way. However, some features are only available on the Unity Pro version. During this tutorial series, we are going to use Unity Pro, but feel free to follow the videos with your free version. To get Unity, open your browser, and simply go to unity3d.com. On the upper left corner of the website, you will find a download button. Click there. This will open the download page. Here you can see the current version of the editor, and download it. After the download, just run the install wizard and install the Unity editor on your computer. The install wizard is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is to give the destination folder to the installer. The wizard will do the rest. Since we already have Unity in our machine, we will cancel the installation. By the end of the installation, you should have an icon to the Unity editor on your desktop. Step 2. The first project. When you open the editor for the first time, it will ask you to open or create a new project. Click on the Create New Project tab. Select the project destination. We will create a new directory for it. You can import several Unity packages at the start of the project. For now, let the packages unchecked. At the bottom, Unity asks if you want to create a 3D or a 2D game. Select 3D and click on Create. Once the Unity Editors opens, you can see that the interface is divided in several tabs. On the scene view, you can edit your own scene placing game objects and building levels. You can move the view by pressing the right mouse button. If you click on the game tab, you can switch between the scene and the game view. The game view is where you can test your game, and see what the camera captures. Right now, all you can see is blue. This happens because our scene is empty. On the Hierarchy tab, you see a list of all game objects in your scene. Right now, we only have the main camera as you can see. By selecting the camera, several options show up on the Inspector tab. Here you can change the properties of the game object you selected. You can either add scripts, physics components, and sounds to the game object or just change the existing parameters. You can do this by changing the values you see on the Inspector tab. Finally, you have the Project tab. Here you can navigate through your project directory, and add new assets to your game. All 3D models, sprites, audio files, scenes and scripts will be placed and saved in this directory. If you right-click on the Assets folder, and select View on Explorer, you can actually see that your Unity project is actually a real directory, just like you see in the Project tab. 
These are the basic features of the Unity default layout. There are other layouts to the editor's interface, and many menus and options. We will take a closer look to each one of them, as we progress through this course. This concludes our first lesson. Please, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games and have a nice day.